The NIST Directive, it stands for the Network Information Systems Directive. It's a specific piece of European legislation and it's focused on cyber security. For getting it wrong and allowing a vulnerability in your system is potentially exposing you to a £17 million fine. We're looking at critical national infrastructure. We're looking at uh, industry sectors identified as being transportation, and that's maritime, rail and air, energy, say so oil and gas, uh, healthcare, down into NHS trusts and uh, foundation trusts, digital service providers, banks. There's a whole raft of identified industry verticals, but the people who will probably be more blindsided to this will be the suppliers to those essential operators. Now, they won't have to comply with the act themselves, but it's extremely likely, if not inevitable, that if they're supplying to an essential operator, that, that essential operator will contract them in to compliance. Cyber incidents are every day, and they're hitting everybody. So the not Petya attack that uh, came through the Ukraine not only hit a lot of Ukrainian institutions, but the collateral damage of affected people like Musk and TNT, and they indicated that the damage to them was in the order of 300 million US dollars. And if they're proven then to be vulnerable and to have known or ignored a vulnerability, you can see the prospect of claims being made by shareholders on the basis of a breach of fiduciary of duty by their directors. If we look at the NIST Directive, it's, it has two focuses. It looks at the protective measures that you're putting in place, and those have to be adequate and proportionate to the risks that you're facing. But it also is requiring you to have procedures in place and policy in place to deal and respond to an incident. You need to have your compliance policy. You need to have your resilience and response plan. People are still seeking a technology silver bullet. That never exists and it never will exist. We've also got to stop making this an IT problem. Yes, you have to have an IT person there, a forensic IT person. You do have to have a lawyer there, thank goodness, um, to deal with the regulatory aspects, the reporting aspects, and the knock-on legal effects. But you're also going to want to have a PR agency there to deal with crisis management. The NISD is bringing in an obligation of reporting a major incident within 72 hours of the effect. So it will become public. You will need to be prepared in that way. So it's a multidisciplinary team that needs to work here. And at Burdenburg, we put together the Cyberbox team to put together really all those necessary parts for addressing cyber as a risk. With that group, we can help clients become resilient to develop their adequate procedures, which they can then demonstrate for their compliance regulation. But also we can swing into action to help when an incident happens. People do really need to believe it's not a case of if I get attacked, it's when.